And thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be starting in 1 Timothy chapter 4, the first verse beginning at, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Today we're going to be speaking about Lois Vocal Sharp. Now I have been watching her for the last probably a um, month or so, and I've been watching and watching because I wanted to get into a lot of different reasons but I wanted to get into January and see if she was still going to be pushing that uh, the current president did concede today that another president was coming in. I'm going to try to be be as um, what am I trying to say walk that little middle ground because I know some people have very strong feelings. I don't want this to be a contentious, contentious video. I want it to be about the fact that Lois Vogel Sharp is still pushing that the president that is sitting in there right now is going to somehow win. Now he can come back in 2024 uh, 20, and he certainly can do it again. I'm not you know, saying I'm against that or anything, but at this time, her prophecy is incorrect. At this moment in time, her prophecy will continue to be incorrect like the rest of them. And that verse, seducing spirits, seems to have seduced many, many people. And I'm talking about prophets. I'm talking about those that are self-appointed prophets in the church, but particularly Lois Wilco Sharp today. And also she was just saying all sorts of interesting things, but her last, not the last video, but the video before the last, touching the lives of my people, she's saying she has all this loving kindness and, and God has done this. And then she said, uh, you'll be enjoying the victory. And now she's at this new video we just watched, she just put out, that's her anger and, oh, you know, we can't let this go and all these different things and using biblical verses to push that she's an actual prophet, and unfortunately, she's not. But I also want to show you something that she said, specifically said the Lord told her, and it was called Let It Snow. Do you, does anyone know that? Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And as we were listening to it, my family and I, um, it came to fruition that it's a love song about people kissing. Now, why would God tell you to let it snow? This is from a holy God. This, this, these people are dating and they're kissing and ha canoodling and having a good time on the couch. That's from the song. Why would he tell her to say that to quote his people? That's not of the Lord. And that is just one of many, many mistakes that she puts in these uh, writings that she makes up and says that they're from the Lord. She also said that the Lord told her that she was going to lead men to Jesus Christ, to help them be free and to lead them to uh, Yeshua. That's the Holy Spirit's job. Yes, we do work for the Lord when he, uh, he uses us daily, but that's the primary job of the Holy Spirit is to lead people to Jesus Christ, not Lois Vogue Sharp. And it's a whole poem about her, which is has nothing to do with God, has nothing to do with God. Her whole premise in ministry has nothing to do with God, but her ego. And she can't let the fact go that she's opened her mouth and said that the current president of the United States, I'm saying it, is going to stay in for another consecutive four years. Not come back, but stay in. And she can't let it go. She, ooh, she can't let it go. This is not of the Lord. She's not edifying the body of Christ. She's not pulling us together. God sent me to bring people together. This is contention at its finest when you listen to her videos regarding the political um, concerns of the United States. And God bless those that are going through it. There are four people's lives have been lost. Four. And it could be more if someone is in the hospital and they die. Uh, what happened uh, yesterday? I am watching... Lois Vogel Sharp and her continued, continued, continued lies that she's listening from the Holy Spirit and listening to God because she's not. She's listening to her ego. And this is shameless in a time when we need to be on our knees and praying for the United States, the nation that is most beloved around the world. It's always been a beacon of hope. And it is now 
not showing itself to be a beacon of hope. And I pray that it will one day be a beacon of hope again. And I pray that you all are always beacon of hope in your lives. God bless you. Thank you for turning in today. Thank you so much.